Yay. No, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to start off by saying thank you to everyone who watched my last video. Um, I got a lot of positive comments, a lot of positive feedback. It seemed like you guys really, really liked that video. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, best. Okay. Stressed. So, me and my mom made this really big order. We made this really big order. And I left last weekend to... Um, uh, we stayed at this house or whatever that we rented out like I went like a little getaway and so I had this really big order and I did all of the iron on vinyls it was um, the shirts that say like mom of the birthday boy dad of the birthday boy cousin of the birthday boy or whatever well tell me how I spelled birthday wrong on all of them Yes, all of them. And it wasn't just one order that was, a, oh my God, it's not even funny. I don't even know why I'm laughing. I don't even know why I'm laughing. And it wasn't just one order. It was three, because it was, it was I got a, a bunch, I got three orders of like a bunch of them. So I did them all together, but I did them right before I left. Honestly, I don't know how I didn't notice, how my mom didn't notice, like neither of us noticed. Like I. And we shipped, like I did them and she put them on the shirts, she made all the shirts and we shipped them like that and the girl was not happy. I'm remaking them now and I'm, I'm going to make sure they get there before they need them but she was not happy and I was so embarrassed. And I was like, she told me, hey, you know, they're spelled wrong and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I was like, I don't know why I missed it. I, honestly, I was so embarrassed. And she just wrote, okay. Just like, oh. Okay. like I was like oh my god I'm so sorry like oh and she's like, okay like I was like oh. so when a customer writes back like that like you you feel bad like you feel worse because you know it, like you get it like I would I would be so upset if I received an order and it was spelled wrong like, oh, I don't even know I did that so that's one of my stresses this week like I, I got so embarrassed like I was so stressed about it that I wanted to like throw up I was like oh my god like it was an order of like nine shirts like I don't know honestly you lose part of your brain when you give birth and I think that's what happened to me so yeah that happened so that's what we're trying to handle I redid all of the iron on things over here and they're spelled right they are thriving right i just can't wait to put it on the shirts and then the other problem is i can't find shirts anywhere so it's been i've been to like every walmart in the state of florida okay and they don't have any shirts i'm struggling trying to find the shirts for these orders it was already a mission to find the shirts to begin with for the original order and now I'm struggling again to find shirts for this order to resend it. And it's just, when the world is against you, the world is against you. Like, so that's been my struggle. I wanted to make a sample um, with you guys on, uh, on, I wanted to make like a mermaid sample shirt so I can put it on the Etsy but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that and I got a comment of someone asking me they were asking me about iron on vinyl um, let me see if I can find them there. so Selena Casa sent me um, a comment saying can you make a video of how you do your designs on Cricut and how you place your vinyl on the Cricut I'm having issues and watch different videos but either comes out backwards or doesn't stick I don't know what I'm doing wrong so I think since this is like something easy that I can go over today I think that's what I'm gonna do um, I think I'm gonna do it with my Mickey design because I have to do a design for a shirt so I think that's what I'm gonna show you guys today and she also requested it so 
I also see that someone said, could you do a video about how you went about buying shirts, fabric and shirts? Girl. This is from Michelle Leal. Okay, shirts and fabric is a struggle, okay? I get my shirts from Walmart, from Hobby Lobby, from Target, um, whichever one has, honestly. Um, shirts are a struggle. They're hard to get. I, I stock up. I spend a lot of money on shirts. Like, if I see that they have, I take them all, okay? Like, it's embarrassing when I'm at Walmart and I'm, like, passing them, just, like, grabbing all of the ones there, but... You know, that's the only way that I'm able to keep my business running. Um, fabric, the same thing. I go to Joann's, I go to Michael's, I go to Hobby Lobby. They also have fabric there. Um, and, what's it going to say? Fabric, I also just find online. Um, fabric, the, the Frozen 2 fabric is impossible to find. It's like $20 a quarter of a yard right now. It's ridiculous. Um... So that, I think once it runs out, like I'm not going to have any more. Um, so for fabric has been really difficult. Like black fabric is really hard to find right now. The, fab the black fabric that I'm using is like a polyester mix. It's not even like full 100% cotton. Um, so definitely like if you want to go about getting supplies, you're going to have to just go to a bunch of different stores. I go to every Hobby Lobby in Miami. I go to every Walmart that I can that I have near me like within like 15 20 mile radius like I go everywhere I go to Target I, I go everywhere so um, I'm constantly shopping it's a very um, labor intensive like it's very hard on me like I I'm constantly going to Walmart I just went to Walmart today and Target you can see the bags um, so I'm all the time I'm at Walmart Hobby Lobby like I'm always there I'm surprised that people don't know me yet like Okay, so let's get started on the video. This is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do on the Cricut. So like that. Okay, so... If you guys are wondering, this is an SVG design. Um, so I actually bought this design from... Um, um, I bought this design on Etsy. Uh, let me see who I bought it from. Okay, so I actually purchased it on um, on Etsy by Creative Owl Designs Florida. Okay, cool. They're based out of Florida. And the design that I bought is called is a hipster Mickey SVG cut file. So anything that you want to buy that you want to put on um, Cricut, you want to make sure that it's an SVG or a PNG file. PNG meaning that it needs to have an invisible background. Um, if you try to download something off of Google and it's like a square white background and the design in the middle, that's not going to work. Um, so this is the what I bought and then I added the oh boy um, toodles to it. So I tinkered around with it. So basically what you do is um, you get the design, you upload it, and then I added these words, and then I'm gonna remove the two from here, and I'm going to weld all of this together. So if you want to put the design so that it's all in one, all together, so that you know when you're removing it off of the vinyl, it um, comes off, and you're not putting a bunch of little pieces together on the shirt. That way, you know, everything comes out symmetrical and how you want it. You see here how all of the pieces are highlighted. See, now they're not highlighted. Now they're highlighted. Um, you're going to press at the bottom here where it says weld. And then you're going to see that the pieces all joined, the pieces that were highlighted now all joined together. So that's what you want to do. So I like to keep the two the two that's going to be in red and the rest of the Mickey that's going to be in black separated and then later when I um, put them on the Cricut I just put them together when I'm going to put them on the shirt. So now you're going to click make it at the top right and you're going to get two mats that come up here. You're going to have a black mat and you're going to have a red mat so you're going to it's going to cut the black piece first for you. And then once it finishes that, you're going to put on the red vinyl. 
so I'm gonna get my black vinyl and my red vinyl and right now I'm gonna use this small um, this smaller mat they have this 12 by 12 and then also a 12 by 24 and I'm gonna take my uh, vinyl this iron-on vinyl that I use I get on Amazon I think it's like 25 or 35 yards long um, I don't buy the Cricut iron on vinyl because it's just so expensive for no reason this is like $20 or something um, and you get a lot more so when you place it on the mat you want to make sure that this the part that's inside of the iron on vinyl is what's facing up so this is the part that's going to stick onto the shirt so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut out what I need and I'm going to use some washi tape to hold the, down the vinyl. And I'm going to cut until like seven and a half. And I like to cut across so that it's much easier to put the vinyl when I lay it on the mat. Anything extra I cut off later and then I use it for when I do names for shirts. So I always have these like pieces like this that I use for names. And then you want to make sure that you see how this part is like it gets dirty very easily and then this part is like really smooth. This is the part that you want to face up. And then this is the part that's going to go on the shirt like this. And then when you have that ready the most important important part is you want to press mirror. If you do not press mirror, it's gonna come out backwards on the shirt. So basically what you're doing is you're making the, the design go backwards so that when it cuts it out and you flip it and put it on the shirt, it comes out normal. So it's very important when you're doing iron on vinyl on a shirt that you mirror the design. You always have, This button always has to be green. You can't forget this or else the design will come out backwards on your shirt. So then you want to press continue here at the bottom, here. You want to turn on your machine, open it, and let's go to the machine. You want to put it in, hold it, push it, push it a little bit in, press the arrow. Once it goes in, the C is going to start flashing and you want to press the C. And then it's going to cut it. So once it um, finishes, you just press the arrow again and you take it out. Okay, so now after it cuts, I'm gonna take the sticky tape off and I keep these because when I do a bunch at the same time and I'm gonna flip it over because I'm gonna cut all the excess off so that I can use it later. So then this little piece here I can use later for anything. And now you want to take your prying tool, it looks like this, um, and then you want to carefully peel up. I always like, I always do this, can you see from there? I push in and then I pull out and then I hold down the plastic and then you want to you want to carefully pull it out. Sometimes in the smaller parts, like the lettering, um, it won't. It'll pull the wording with it. So you want to make sure that you're pulling. See, over here, it's pulling a letter. So I like to hold it down and go slowly, because then you'll like rip it all in one, and you'll take like a bunch of letters with you. I think I need to change out my needle also see it pulled it didn't pull the comma the comma so now when you flip it over the design is in the right side this is what's going to go on the shirt like this when you put it on so now i'm going to make sure that the two is mirrored i'm going to press mirror and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna press done. I'm gonna take this little extra piece that I had laying around somewhere. So this one, it actually gets tricky because you have to kind of learn which side is the right side. 
I know that this side is the correct side just by looking at it, but you'll know when you unroll, the inside part is what faces up when you put it on the thing. Now I'm gonna cut around the edges really close. You'll see why in a second. I take this and I put it on there. And since it's sticky, it'll just stick on there. Now I'm gonna turn on the iron and put this on the shirt. So once it reaches 315 degrees, you can put it on. And what I do is I center the whole design, I don't center the head. And that's how it looks. Hi, hi, baby. Hi. couple days honestly I can't I don't know how many days it's been but um, I just finished um, with shipping out a couple orders and now I want to start making some samples I can finally breathe a little bit that situation that happened the other day has been fixed I overnighted them all of their shirts with the um, birthday spelled correct <laughs> So the lady was really happy. Um, I was able to fix it for her. I apologized, I think, more than 15 times. She was probably annoyed because I was apologizing so many times and I told her I was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, but she said that it was okay and that it happens and um, that, you know, she'd still purchase from me in the future. So thank God. Um, so now I'm going to work on some samples. I really want to make um, a mermaid sample for a birthday shirt. Um, I have these things that I kind of want to incorporate in the shirts. So I have this, and then I have this. I wanted to start playing with like different textures and things. So, do you guys ever get a hair like right here and then you're just like, it's like tickling you and it's like annoying? Okay, so I want to use this in the shirt. And then I want to use this. This is basically like canvas um, uh, fabric. So I want to see if I'm, I'm, I've already used this in a shirt and it's perfect, but I haven't used this. This is, I think, similar in um, thickness, so I don't see how it can be an issue. And then I'll show you guys the design that I just bought. It's actually a really cute design. Um, I got this design. I got two actually, which are really cute. Okay, I got this one. And then this is what it would look like. It's really cute. This is from Curtsy Embroidery. And then I also got this one, which I'm going to incorporate a number two. Um, I already have the... Um, in brilliance software so I can add a number to it um, I just have been lazy and have not gone around to playing with it so today I'm gonna be making um, this design and let's see how it comes out wish me luck I'm totally breaking out so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna bring you guys along with me yeah this is actually much thinner I think this is gonna be great for for the applique and it's cute because it has like an iridescence i don't know if you guys can see it oh my god this is so cute okay this is from um also this is from hobby lobby i think this was like five dollars but you can use the 40 percent off coupon and get it for cheaper and then this is also from hobby lobby this is like two dollars and 49 cents um i think these are good price points only reason is because i use it for little areas on the shirt i don't use it for like 
you know, larger areas. I may use this for the number, I'm kind of tempted, but I'm only gonna use this for the tail of the mermaid, so it's not gonna be using up. I can make a couple shirts out of these $3. So, let's do it. That was very lame, I can't believe I just did that. Hi! Le gusta la eso de, de Barbie. Que tienen cochecito con bebé y cosas más. Estás loca porque yo le compro una Barbie. No, Barbie no sé porque ya está muy chiquita, pero, pero sí bebé. Cuando vi el bebé, así, se quedó mirando. Dame ese papel, que te encanta coger el papel y criarlo. Dame el papel. Te has hecho un desastre. Ya, 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 ya. Dame el papel. Thank you. Thank you, mi amor. Gracias. Ay, tienes sueño, la chica. Oh, good night, night. Oh, good night, night. Mira que agua. You want a good night, night? Qué agua, It's pouring rain outside, baby. It's a perfect time to nap. Yay. Yeah. Yay. 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 That's how she says yay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can you say hello? No. Not in your mouth, please. Thank you. Okay, so we're back like three hours later. I took a nap with my baby. Now I'm refreshed. So I have the design up on the embroidery machine and then I have all of my um, threads that I'm going to be using potentially. And then right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, outline the design. Let me set you guys up here. Look at how pretty this is. Tell me that is not beautiful. You can see the iridescence on it and it's just gorgeous. I still have to iron it and stuff so that you don't see any of these creases because I haven't ironed it so the fabric hasn't really stuck onto the shirt but um, tell me this is not the most beautiful thing ever I'll go to my shop soon oh my god my skin okay what color tutu do you guys think we should make to match this so I think this has to be my favorite design that I've ever done. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do, um, probably change the hair color, do another one with a different skin tone. Um, I love it. Oh, so I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'll show you guys um, all the different ones that I did. I don't know if it'll be in a video or a picture, but whatever. Whichever one. Hey guys, this is the next day. So this is the second one that I did. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. I feel like I should have made the scales go down, but that's okay. I can just, whenever I enter the orders, I will... Whenever I fulfill the orders, I'll just make it the right way. But I'm thinking of doing one with like red hair. Um, how cute they're so adorable I'm waiting for a vinyl that I ordered to get here so that I can um, put the names and then I can take a picture they're so cute
Um, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I noticed that a lot of you guys have been commenting and letting me know video ideas. So I definitely am reading them. Um, thank you guys so, so much for all of my new subscribers. We had um, a lot of subscribers subscribe to the channel. Um, so welcome. My name is Adelaida and I have a beauty, business and lifestyle um, blog, vlog channel whatever this is <laughs> so i run my own business i also do makeup um, i'm a makeup artist and i now have a business in making birthday shirts with my mom so definitely a strange combination i think uh for a channel but i mean those are just the things that i'm interested in so i guess they work for me <laughs> Um, so thank you guys so so much for watching and if you like this video make sure to like it down below and let us know of any videos that you guys would like to see or any questions that you may have um, and I'll try to respond to them either here on the channel or um, in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye!